Hi everyone, welcome to Multi-Sensory Monday. I have a big spelling rule for you today. I have one of the three great spelling rules for English, which are all about spelling changes that happen when you add a suffix. Today we're going to talk about the doubling rule. The other great spelling rules are magic E plus a suffix and Y with a suffix. We will get to those in other videos. So let's talk about the 111 doubling rule. This explains when you need to double the consonant when you're adding a suffix. So here's the rule. If your base word is one syllable, has one short vowel sound, and ends in one consonant, you double the consonant if you're adding a vowel suffix. Key things here, one syllable word, one vowel, and one consonant at the end. The other thing is about the suffix. This is only for suffixes that begin with a vowel. An activity is a really, really great way to help students get a handle on this rule. You'll have word cards that have a base word on them, and then word cards that have a suffix. Before we do this, what we're going to start doing is actually sorting out the word cards so that we can find the ones that would follow our doubling rule. So you'll give your students the base words and you'll ask them, first of all, go ahead and make a pile of all the words that are one syllable. So they should look through and read every word, deciding how many syllables is in that word. Next, they're going to take that pile and now we have to check our second criteria. Which of these one syllable words has only one short vowel, one vowel sound? Let's go through them again. Good, I've got my pile dwindling down. Third criteria, of these words, which, one ends, which ones end in a single consonant? Great, now I have all my base words that follow the 111 criteria. Next, let's look at our suffixes. We're going to go through our suffixes and we're going to keep the ones that start with a vowel and we're going to discard the ones that start with a consonant. Perfect, now I have my suffixes that the rule is going to apply for. Now for the next part of the activity. You're going to have your base words and your suffixes in two different piles. Go ahead and put those face down. You'll also need some post-it notes at this point. I have some pre-made here. The students are going to go ahead and they're going to flip over a base word and a suffix and they're going to read it. So this one is tan e. Well, it follows my 111 doubling rule, so what I have to do is put in my double letter, Tanny. Perfect. These aren't going to be real words. Let's flip over another set. Here we have lap-ish. Okay, it's going to follow my 111 doubling rule, so I'm going to have to put that second P in there, and now I can read it lap-ish. Take that out, and let's do another one. Here we have rip er. It's going to follow the 111 doubling rule, so let's put our second consonant in there. And we have ripper. So they'll go through first and sort the piles like we just did so that everything follows the 111 doubling rule. The next level is to use those same sets that you started with, but this time the students aren't going to sort the words first. Great, now I have all of my base words and all of my suffixes. So I'm going to have to really think each time I flip if I'm gonna to have to double that middle consonant or not. Here I have stop, E. Stop 
follows our 111 criteria. Our Y here making the E sound is definitely a vowel. So yes, I'm going to need to double that and I'll be able to read stoppy. Next one. Hop ish. Another one that follows our rule. So I'd have to put that consonant in there. Hopish. What do we have next? Zip er. We have another one that follows our rule. So let's go ahead and put that double consonant in there. Zipper. Grip ness. Okay, grip follows the 111 criteria, but ness does not start with a vowel, so I don't need my double consonant. I can just go ahead and read this. Gripness. Join full. Join doesn't follow my 111 criteria, and full doesn't start with a vowel, so these are perfectly fine, and we have joinful. I hope you enjoyed learning the first of our great spelling rules, the 111 doubling rule. Let me know in the comments below different ways that you teach the rule, or maybe even if you have another name for it. Please remember to like and subscribe, and I will see you again next Monday for another spelling rule.